I'm Kim Johnson, and this is Welcome to NASA, your destination for breaking news and feature stories about in-processing at NASA. We'll be following the journeys of three employees as they navigate NASA's in-processing. They'll work with their caseworker at the NASA Shared Services Center, also known as the NSSC, take care of necessary procedures, and give us their thoughts about their experiences. You can watch this series from start to finish or by segments as you have time. You've probably noticed the text scroll at the bottom of the screen. It'll provide a stream of important messages, contact information, and other interesting notes connected with in-processing and employee stories. The episodes focus on understanding your appointment, NASA's entrance on duty system, or EODS, forms to complete prior to your first day, forms to take with you on your first day, Federal Employees Health Benefits Program, or FEHB, Federal Employees Group Life Insurance, or FEGLI, Designation of Beneficiary Forms, Additional Benefits, Thrift Savings Plan, or TSP, Retirement Plans, and the Electronic Official Personnel Folder, or EOPF. We have a few special episodes, too. An employee's position determines participation in these programs, but everyone benefits from being aware of these NASA policies. The episodes are Drug-Free Workplace Program at NASA, Financial Disclosure Filing Requirements, and Deposits and or Redeposits for Former Civil Service, Military Reserve, and Active Duty Personnel. Before we meet our employees, let's watch a brief overview about NASA. To report on that piece, I'd like to bring on Greg Ramirez, who's one of our NASA Shared Services Center caseworkers. Greg? Hi, Kim. So, Greg, what's your role as an NSSC caseworker, and what general information about NASA would be good for all employees to know? First off, I'd like to welcome you to NASA. It's an amazing place to work, and I'm sure you will thrive here professionally and personally. Each employee is assigned an NSSC caseworker to assist with in-processing. We in-process all employees, including new hires, transfers, reassignments, re-employed annuitants, reinstatements, and conversions to make sure they understand how to complete required paperwork, offer counseling on benefits, and answer questions. The NSSC caseworker is just one resource you'll have. Each new employee also will be assigned an ambassador, an individual located at your center who will ensure a smooth transition to your local organizational culture. Ambassadors are your go-to people to get answers to orientation-related questions, guidance on resources, and referrals to contacts and connections like liaisons with other center members who have similar professional interests. Now about NASA. NASA's workforce consists of thousands of civil servants and contractors, and it's an organization highly committed to promoting diversity and equal employment opportunities. It won't take long for you to see why NASA is rated as one of the top 10 federal government's best places to work. NASA traditionally scores high in the key areas of teamwork, diversity, pay, strategic management, family culture, and benefits. The agency's headquarters is in Washington, D.C. It's under the leadership of the administrator who provides guidance and direction. NASA's three mission directorates are aeronautics research, science, and human exploration and operations. There are 10 NASA centers around the country. Each has its own role in management, outreach, research, development, technical, production, and support functions. Additional NASA, government, university, and contractor facilities provide support to these centers. Information about each center can be accessed through the employee orientation website. That's the quick overview of NASA. More information is available at the nasa.gov website. Your ambassador can point you in the right direction if you have specific questions related to your area of work. Your NSSC caseworker should be in touch before your entrance on duty date or EOD date. We'll do everything we can to help make your in-processing and transition to your center a pleasant experience. Thanks, Craig. Let me tell you more about the NSSC. The NSSC consolidated and standardized select business activities from across NASA to improve customer service and provide business support in the area of procurement, financial management, human resources, and information technology. Although the NSSC is located at Stennis Space Center, it's actually a part of NASA headquarters. Before we launch into the Welcome to NASA in processing stories with our three employees, we have someone who wants to offer you a special welcome to NASA. 
Hello and welcome to NASA. I'm Charlie Bolden, NASA's administrator. Did you know that NASA is rated as one of the top 10 best places to work in the federal government? We work hard to foster a culture of respect, creativity, equal opportunity, inclusiveness, trust, open communication, and empowerment. NASA's greatest strength is our workforce, a team of highly qualified individuals that is representative at all levels of America's diversity. As a NASA employee, you have the unparalleled opportunity to work side by side with a cadre of innovative and imaginative professionals. They include some of the nation's top scientists, engineers, and other technical staff, supported by a capable group of professional and administrative personnel. As a NASA employee, you also have a unique opportunity to support our missions and shape the future of our nation. You and your coworkers will be crucial in our efforts as we develop plans to bring about innovation and invest in technologies for the future. By passionately sharing your pride in the work you do here at NASA, you can help to inspire the next generation of explorers to prepare for careers in science and technology and encourage students to study science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Your effectiveness in these efforts will be limited only by your imagination. I hope this video will provide you with much of the information you need to more quickly become an effective and fully contributing member of our workforce. Our goal is for you to have a positive in-processing experience and an exceptional first day as a new member of the NASA family. Congratulations on your new job and again, welcome to NASA. In the next segment, we'll introduce you to our featured employees and follow them as they learn about their NASA appointments. Thanks for watching. We all look forward to you joining us again for Welcome to NASA.